Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson we're going to study fact families. And so what is a fact family? Well, it is a family of four things. Two of them are additions and two of them are subtractions. And let's make one here using this picture where we have seven marbles or seven berries. Let's say these are five blueberries and two lingonberries or raspberries, whatever, or strawberries. And we will write two additions and two subtractions to match this picture. The addition is easy. Two plus five, of course. And it equals seven. Seven is our total. The other addition, we just switch these numbers and put five plus two. That also is seven, right? And then the subtraction starts with the total. We have seven in the beginning. And then if we take away these two, we subtract two. Then what is left? 5 is left, and the, the last subtraction is 7 minus, if we take away these 5, then we will have 2 left. So these four equations form the family, a fact family. Let's make another. With this picture we have 8, and we have 6 and 2, making 8. So the addition is 6 plus 2 equals 8. Now, you tell me the other addition, right? Switch the numbers, 2 plus 6. Think of it as 2 and 6. And then the subtractions. You start with 8. There's 8 in the beginning. Let's say 2 go away. 8 minus 2. And so 6 are left. And the other one, 8 in the beginning. And let's say these 6 go away. And then you have 2 left. Now over here, there's a 9 in total. But you can choose the two parts, so much and so much, makes nine. Is that Matthew? Oh, Matthew wants us to use nine and zero. Okay, that will work. Nine and zero on this side. So the addition is nine plus zero equals nine. The other addition would be zero plus nine. That also equals nine. How about the subtractions? Can you tell me what those will be? Start with how many there are in the beginning. There are nine in the beginning. And then which ones go away? Let's say these go away. Zero. Nine minus zero. None of them go away, so nine are still left. And then let's say that these go away. All nine go away. Zero left. Over here, this is going to be a fact family too. But all we are given here is one of the subtractions you know, because we have two additions, two subtractions. So this is one of the subtractions, and we need to write all the rest of the facts for this fact family and draw a picture, too. This is a subtraction. You can think of it as, okay, there's six in the beginning, and five go away, and one left, right? So what do I draw here now? Five go away, and there's one left, like this. Right? And this is 6 in the beginning, 6 total. Okay, 6 in total. So now we can write the addition 5 plus 1 equals 6. And then the other way around, 1 plus 5 equals 6. Then we have this subtraction, and we need one more subtraction. Can you tell me what that one will be? 6 take away that one equals 5. Good job. Now these are going to be fact families too, but they are smaller families. They have less facts. And that is because I have 3 and 3. So when it is the same number, 3 and 3, I write just one addition. 3 plus 3 equals 6. Because if I switch those numbers, I still get 3 plus 3. And then I will write just one subtraction, because 6 take away 3 equals 3, but the other subtraction will be the same. 6 take away these 3 will be 3. So there's just one addition, one subtraction. The same happens here. Can you tell me the addition and the subtraction for this small family? I have 5 and 5, making 10, and then 10 minus 5 equals 5. Now we have these blue boxes and we need to draw the alligator's mouths in them. 
or mammoth mouth, whichever. 5 and 2 plus 4 on this side. How much is 2 plus 4? Or 4 plus 2? That's 6. Okay, 6 is more, right? So the mouth has to open towards the 6. 5 is less than 2 plus 4. Oh, here, 9 on this side. On this side, 3 plus 3 plus 3. How much is that? 3 plus 3? Well, that's 6. And then 6 plus 3, 3 more. That's 9. So this is actually 9 equals 9. 6 minus 3 on this side, 1 on the other. 6 minus 3, well, that's 3. So 3 is greater than 1. 5 minus 5 on this side, how much is that? 0, right? 5 plus 5? Well, I don't need to know how much it is. It surely is more than 0, right? So I have here 0, and that's less than whatever that is. That's 10. There are two tricycles and one bicycle on the yard. How many wheels are there? Now you need to know what is a tricycle. You've probably been riding one, right, as a child. A tricycle has how many wheels? Three wheels. And then one bicycle has how many wheels? Two wheels. Let's just draw all these wheels so we get the answer. Two tricycles, okay. One tricycle would have three wheels. Another tricycle would have three wheels. And a bicycle would have two wheels. So this is three plus three plus two, right? How many in total? You get the same as I do? Eight. Yeah. What's that, Matthew? Oh, he wants to go riding now. Well, we still need to finish the lesson first, Matthew. Not yet. A repair shop has five bikes, five bicycles there. But one of them lacks its front wheel. They took off the front wheel, maybe it was broken. How many wheels? How many wheels can you count? Okay, we could draw again. Let's just draw the bicycle wheels. Here's one bicycle. Oh, I mean, it's two wheels. I won't take time to draw the whole bicycle. Just imagine it's a bicycle, right? Here's another bicycle. And the third bicycle, and the fourth bicycle, and the fifth bicycle. But one of them lacks its front wheel, so this actually is not there. So now how many wheels? We could write an addition. 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1. I'll just count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 wheels. Okay. I hope you enjoyed the word problems and we're all done with the lesson.